delicious fudgy brownies from scratch. These brownies are soft and moist and fudgy and delicious. And best of all, they are super easy to make. They're better than any brownies that you can get from the box mix. So without further ado, let me show you how easy these are to make. Now the first thing we're gonna need to do is get our chocolate ready. I've got a pan here over medium heat. I'm going to add in half of a cup of vegetable oil to my pan. Uh, to that vegetable oil, I'm going to add in three quarters of a cup or six ounces by weight of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Using a whisk, I'm just going to whisk this over medium heat uh, to melt my chocolate. Now you don't want the heat real high on this, you want it low so you don't burn and scorch your chocolate. Now the reason I'm using vegetable oil for this is this is what keeps these brownies so soft and moist and delicious. Uh, and if you want to, you can substitute half of this oil with applesauce to kind of reduce the calories. Once your chocolate chips are about halfway melted, then you want to turn the heat off. The residual heat in the oil will melt your chocolate. You're not cooking this by any means. You just want to melt the chocolate and incorporate it into the oil. Now once all your chocolate chips have melted into that oil, you want to set this off to the side for about 10 minutes and let it cool down. You want this at least room temperature before you use it. Now I'm going to get my wet ingredients ready. I've got three large eggs here that I've cracked into a large bowl. And using the same whisk that I used to melt the chocolate, I'm going to whisk these together. This kind of saves on dirty dishes and all. But you want to break up your egg yolks before you add any of the sugars to this. Now this recipe does not use any leaveners whatsoever. The only leavening agent that you have in these brownies is the eggs. Uh, so that's why we're using three eggs here. Once you get those eggs beaten up, you want to add in three quarters of a cup of white granulated sugar, as well as a quarter of a cup of packed white brown sugar. I'm also going to add in half of a teaspoon of instant coffee, and this actually brings out a lot of the chocolate flavor in these. Uh, you don't have to add the instant coffee if you don't want to, but it really makes the chocolate pop in these brownies. It's that little special ingredient that makes the brownies so special. Uh, using a whisk, you just want to mix this up, and I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract to this. Get that mixed in well. Get those sugars as dissolved as you possibly can in the eggs. Next, I'm going to add in my oil and chocolate mixture. Now, this is one of why you want to make sure that this mixture is cool, or at least room temperature, before you add this, is because you don't want any of your eggs to scramble. Go ahead and get that mixed in, and then we can add in our dry ingredients. All we're doing for dry ingredients is three quarters of a cup of plain all-purpose flour, as well as a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. That's it. Now you just want to go ahead and mix this together. Make sure that there are no streaks or lumps of flour remaining in the mixture. Don't be afraid of overmixing this. You really can't do that with this recipe. In fact, the more you mix it, the better crust you get on top of the brownie. That real thin, flaky crust that's on top. Mixing this really well is what develops that crust. So go ahead and get that all mixed together until it is nice and smooth. Now you want to take your brownie batter and pour it into an 8 inch by 8 inch glass baking dish. You can use a metal dish for this as well. I just prefer cooking in glass so that's what I'm using. Now you notice this is a dry pan that I'm pouring my batter into. It has not been greased and floured like a lot of recipes for brownies call for. I find it completely unnecessary for brownies. So go ahead and get all of that delicious brownie batter into your pan. And you want to bake this in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for between 32 and 35 minutes. Now, how will you know that your brownies are done? You will see that you will have a crack around the entire outside circumference of your pan. And when you insert a tooth toothpick just off center of the brownies, it will actually come out with a little bit of batter still on it. So when a toothpick insert off center looks like this, you know that your brownies are done. They will continue cooking in the glass pan. Then you wanna let these cool down to room temperature before you serve them. Make sure that the center of the brownies are fully set up and then you can go ahead and cut them up and serve them. If you tried this recipe, let me know how you like it down below in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more deliciousness and to keep up to date.